go now? Oh, we're gonna go to McDonald's. We're gonna go to McDonald's again because that's our thing now, yes, right? Yes. Bubble tea and fries. <laughs> yeah. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a very grey and grey, miserable day in London. But hey, you know, we make the best out of it, of course. <laughs> what do we do today? Today we are just on our way to Luxury Promise right now because I feel like I haven't been there in probably two plus months now. I was there last time with Lido and we checked out all their beautiful Birkins. Um, let's see what's new. Okay guys, so we are back at Luxury Promise and I can always just say it again how beautiful the decorations are. I mean, this shop just looks amazing right doesn't it okay i would say i give you the full tour let's have a look what we find today and then we go from there they have so many so many rare and special pieces just like this one this is a medium large classic flap and is it a double flap no i think it's a single flap let's look into this it's made out of tweed yeah it is a single flap Ooh, it actually has the how could i have not noticed that it actually has the reissue chain the that usually only comes with classic reissue bags of course can we see the details it's just absolutely gorgeous okay this is definitely a treasure we want to look at more later or maybe we try it on oh my god i can only tell you i once found a classic chanel jumbo the xxl vintage jumbos in this material in Japan and I still up until this day regret that I didn't buy it it was so beautiful with the rich gold hardware and it is so rare to find this of course this is a different kind of bag nonetheless like can you see that the material is so so gorgeous I wish I would have bought that bag in Japan to be honest um, I still regret it up to this day <laughs> um, okay here we have a lot of beige beauties Yes. Uh, Chanel mini square in vintage. This is a vintage piece, a gold plated bag as well. There you have the little sign. Okay, absolutely gorgeous. And again, working for the Birkin. I absolutely love that already last time when I was here. Let's see what else we find. So here we found all the beautiful Birkins last time. There we have one in a very special leather. That's not the Togo leather. I can't remember the name of this at the moment, but it is really, really durable. There we have a beautiful Chanel Jumbo Fendi Baguette. I uh, have not seen that model before in this color combination, to be honest. Very interesting, isn't it? couple more Chanel Jumbos and a beautiful Gucci treasure. Okay, let's see what else is there. Ah, oh, this is the bag. It's still available that Lisa fell in love with last time. It is so gorgeous. I don't know if you, I never know if it comes, if the beauty comes across properly on screen. You should definitely, if you are in London, drop in here, look at it in person. It's definitely worth it. And there we have a beautiful D&G bag, Dolce & Gabbana. Okay guys, let's see. What else we find? Oh wow, that is a massive bag. <laughs> is that a toad or is that a proper flat bag? I've never seen this before. I think I need to try that on to show you the dimensions of this bag. <laughs> it is absolutely incredible. Okay, so here we have a smooth box calf. Um, Lady Dior. I love those. I was thinking about getting this one once in the gold plated hardware. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So basically, guys, this is the vintage Chanel Jumbo, right? So imagine that bag in that beautiful material. And that's what I saw in Japan. And I did not pick it up. And I still regret it, yes. And I will forever probably regret it. Because that bag was so, so rare and limited. So I'm not quite sure if I will ever come across one of these again. If one of you ever sees it anywhere on the pre-love market, of course, let me know immediately. <laughs> because you know i would love to get my hands on it there we have a beautiful box calf kelly as well lizard kelly this should be get the kelly 32 and of course the beautiful gold and gold combination that so many people love so much yeah so here she is <laughs> why did i not pick it up why did i not pick it up I just wish, you know, I would find this in the jumbo size again. I mean, imagine this with a beautiful, big, golden CC hardware at the front. It was just one of a kind. It was absolutely stunning. And that was the only time I've ever seen it in Japan and never anywhere else, to be honest. Never on Vestiaire, never on Fashion File. And I think that means something. <laughs> and it's really hard to come by, right? 
But yeah, let me know what we think. I just love this material so, so much. Stunning bag, huh? Yeah, okay guys, so here's the beautiful Chanel classic flap bag, but this is a single flap. So, you know, you can fit more in there. Um, it's lighter, it's always a good choice to go for the vintage single classic flaps. Um, I think it's really pretty, right? This is a tweed. This is a really nice combination of colors, a really nice tweed combination. I love it. Ooh, what do we think about this one? This is like so black hardware. Um, I don't know if this is perforated leather, actually. I think it is leather. Um, it does feel like it. And of course, we are a big fan of the So Black bags, right? I think it's only a matter of time until I will add one to my collection. Yeah, any thoughts? This is more of an east-west kind of flap, which is a lot more, a lot wider than the regular classic flaps, of course. Um, but nonetheless, it's a really nice bag, isn't it? Oh, wow, how could I have missed this one? <gasps> Hello, beauty! Wow, this is a Capucine, a Louis Vuitton Capucine Mini, and I've never seen this beauty before. <gasps> Can we see the crystals? Wow, I don't even know from what year that is, to be honest, guys. It's just incredibly pretty, and I love it. Wow, I mean, it's silver hardware, and we know I don't go for silver hardware, but I think because this is, like, embroidered with crystals, this is such a beautiful piece. Okay, I'm just blown away. I just almost wanted to leave already. I was like, oh, what's this down there? Let me have a look. Um, wow. What do we think? This is a gorgeous little piece. Let me show you how it looks like with a little strap. Here it is with the shoulder strap. And this is a really, like a unique strap as well. Louis Vuitton usually doesn't make this. Um, they don't make these for the capucine bags. So, you know, I've never come across something like this. Pretty, I would think. This is probably the most gorgeous bag that we've seen today, right? I think I've never seen that version of the reissue. Do we know what year that is from? Um, I'm not aware. Yeah, that is so, so massive. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> it's more like an airport bag, right? Yeah. It is absolutely, and look at the chain. <laughs> I really have never seen this before. Let's find out what year this is from. Yeah, guys, I just felt like I had to show you this on me for you to see the dimensions of this massive bag. <laughs> I think I've never, nope, I've never seen this before. What is this? Um, I will definitely try and figure out what year this was from, or what collection this was from, like, this monstrosity, isn't it? <laughs> so that massive reissue was from the 13 series, so that means it must have been from 2008 to 2009 when that collection was released. So, never seen that one. <laughs> I think that's more of a joke, I don't even think people would use that as an airport bar, because it just looks so overwhelming and so, so massive, like not even the XXL jumbos are that big. Okay, I would say let's have a quick look at Fenwick as well, because of course they always have the what goes around comes around pop-up shop right here. So there we have a little cute Dior toad and a classic lady Dior and that's my favorite combination of all. I think you can't go more classic than that one. Let me know what you think. Okay, there we have some Gucci. I see the beautiful Raja bag with the tiger hat is already gone that was here last time. I would have thought so because that was just such a beautiful piece. Okay, nothing too special. This Kelly still hasn't sold and I mean I can understand why. The prices are a little bit, little bit overpriced here when it comes to what goes around comes around. Um, you know, the, the, the basically the little pop-up branch that they have in department stores. It's like a bit overpriced. Some Louis Vuitton bags. And yeah guys, I think that's it. Yeah, and again guys, I'm just walking down Bond Street and <laughs> still can't get over those boots. I just can't. This is <laughs> it's too much. I know so many people always tell me, Romina, do a Cartier vlog for us, please. So let me know in the comment section down below if you're interested. Um, jewelry, of course, is not my area of expertise. <laughs> um, it is rather bags. Um, and But nonetheless, of course, I can do that for you guys if I know you would like me to do that. So please let me know in the comment section down below. What do we think about the Max Mara teddy bear coats? Um, I know so many people love them. Let me know if you are a fan. Um, I actually, I tried one on once and it feels so, so nice and luxurious and warm and fluffy and perfect for autumn and winter, but it just doesn't look the best on me, unfortunately. Okay guys, so we just made it to Harrods. 
and um, yeah, let's see what kind of eye candy we can get. But also, what I want to show you is they just keep following you around town. This is the Speedy from the Louis Vuitton Fonacetti collection. I mean, this was. To be honest, Louis Vuitton hasn't brought out any collaborations recently that I enjoyed. Um, but yeah, let me know, of course, what your opinion is. I think, I don't know why, it doesn't get me excited, you know? I'm not really into their recent designs. And a little bit of Chanel eye candy. Look at this one. Is this a lipstick holder? I guess it is, right? And this bag I have not seen before. It's a really nice clasp. A new window display. At least something new we can look at. Um, I think in the past they did replace or exchange the outfits in the window displays more often. I feel like they've gotten a little bit lazy in Harris recently. And what do we think about this casual outfit mixed with disco chic? <laughs> I don't know. It's a little bit... It's nice, it's nice, it's just not my style, I think. Okay guys, so we are at Fendi right now and I really want to find that beautiful toad, the black one that everybody loved so much. There are quite a lot of people here, unfortunately, so I don't know, you know, how quick we will get served. But look at this beautiful Fendi peekaboo as well. I mean, there's lots of stuff we can look at while we're waiting. Um, and then I hope I can show you this beautiful tote bag. Look at these beautiful mini Fendi peekaboos and this gorgeous crocodile version. Absolutely stunning. So we're looking for that bag actually down there in the black. What do we think about the Fendi peekaboo east-west versions? I mean east-west versions have been brought out by fashion houses for decades I feel. Um, but yeah. Okay so this is the bag. This is the bag we're interested in, just in the black smooth leather version. So here we are with this beautiful new toad from Fendi. And I really want to see it in the black version because I think it is so, so stunning. Just like the smooth black version um, with a beautiful golden handle. And I don't quite know if this is the only size they currently come in. He said, the SA said actually that they have, I think, a larger size, which I think is not really necessary because this is already pretty, pretty big, right? <laughs> um, I think it would be really nice if they had a smaller size as well because I didn't expect them to be so heavy to be honest it is it is quite a brick <laughs> let me tell you it's quite heavy the hardware is quite chunky but beautiful of course um, so this is the python version let's compare it to the beautiful black one if they have that one in store so I would say let's have a look inside so this is actual magnets yeah it's magnets that's how you open and close the bag and this is the inside it's basically just one big hole which I love <laughs> oh so it does come with um, I guess with a strap um, which would be of course helpful if you can transform such a big bag into a shoulder bag if you need it uh, my arm would get weak carrying it like this but it is beautiful isn't it I really like this um, handle it's definitely a very sleek, new and modern design. And oh my god, what is this? Just seen this. That is quite interesting. This is one of the baguette backpack versions, but yeah, not really a fan of the furry trend at the moment. It does come with a shoulder strap. Um, it is not even as thick as the burglary bag. And believe me, this bag needs the thick, wider shoulder strap because it's so, so heavy. So the SA actually explained that this has to be quite heavy because the entire weight of the bag is, of course, you know, getting lifted with this handle. Um, it's similar to the Fendi Peekaboos, you know, the entire weight of the bag gets distributed over this little metal stripe <laughs> that basically holds the entire bag together you guys know what I mean um, but yeah let me know are we a fan are we not a fan last time you really loved it when I've shown you what was on display at Harris so let's have another quick look so many Kelly's so many Birkins Constances it's so close yet so far away right this is the dream one day one day I will find my ideal Back as well so whatever they have on display it's never up for sale unfortunately I hope you enjoyed today's shopping vlog it's not quite over yet um, I got a little hot chocolate because I need that we are going to meet somebody now and do something really funny hopefully if the weather you know 
cools up. And for anybody who wonders, this is my favorite cupcake bakery, the Hummingbird Bakery. I absolutely love their cakes and cupcakes and it's the most delicious little sin ever. And I can only recommend, look at the cakes, look at the cupcakes. I can only recommend you to come here when you're done. Yeah, hi, look who's here. It's me, Cassie Gork on YouTube. What are we doing today, Cassie? Well, today we are going around a few bubble tea spots and we're rating them. Exactly, and our judgment for the zoo is? I would give it a three. Out of ten? Oh, out of five. Out of five, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I would say three. Yeah, okay, yeah. But I definitely need to show you the Pancha, which is my favorite place in the Okay, I'm excited. And they have such a long queue all the time, like it takes forever to get a bubble tea. Okay, so but we have time today. We have time. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Okay, so now we're here. At Kupacha, and this is actually my favorite place. I hope you're gonna like it. Well, I'm already here for the aesthetics. It so looks amazing. Can we see the ombre effect? Really, really nice. Mm -hmm. So I would say we're gonna judge them for a second. We're gonna try it. Yes. Yeah. Usually Please. they have such a long queue. Sometimes we wait for like half an hour. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Well, it must be good. It is good. And then what do we do now? Then we rate. And. What do we do now? Where are we gonna go now? Oh, we're gonna go to McDonald's. We're gonna go to McDonald's again because that's our thing now, yes, right? Yes, yes. Bubble tea and fries. Oh, we are on Leicester Square now because we want to go to McDonald's and we just found that. Can you see that even? All of what the, do we it's, think? It's all of the ones. It's all of the Harry Potter ones. I don't know if we have to go a bit closer. <laughs> But why? Is there anything happening? There's no new film coming out now, right? 20 years of movie magic. Oh, 20 years of movie magic. Mm. Which one is the elder one? Tell me, Cathy. The elder. The elder one. The, God, most, the most powerful one in the history of one. I'm going to say the one right at the end that looks almost like a bone. Nine. That's Voldemort's one. <laughs> <Damn> it. <laughs> it's this one here, the first oh, one. Oh, this one. Oh, so who most was that one? Dumbledore's most ah. powerful one in the history. Yes. <laughs> we got the goods. We got the goods. So uh, I would say one of the key to us. What yes. do we say about Kapata, by the way? Five out of five. Totally. I see why it's your favourite. It's and so delicious. It's so delicious, especially the full sugar head you get from the other <laughs> I'll be bouncing off the walls. <laughs> it's my life elixir. Okay, so quickly, I've seen this beauty for the very first time today. She's Thank so you. gorgeous. I'm glad you like her. They have it in purple now, and I was yes. already standing there thinking, should I get the scoop? And then we're twinning, then we're twinning. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> Nothing wrong with a twin, <laughs> I know, because I love purple so much. Yes, yeah. Here. So yeah, we didn't and look at this one. We didn't even talk about it, but we both picked the pink one, huh? So today. pretty. I know, so, yes, so we match. Nice. Okay, I would say if you whoo, if you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, join our little handbag of that time. Drop a video. comment. Drop a comment. Drop by Cassie's channel, of course. Cassie's <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> and yeah, guys, I see you again very, very soon. Bye. Bye.